Okay, Shalom, I'm Dr. Yuval, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Barakatha, Yahweh, Barakatha, Yahweh, Shai, Barakatha, Rakakadash. Right, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. And so I taste peace and blessings to the Akim that's continue to do this work until the end. Israelite foreigners, faith-based Israelites, you know, sincere brethren. All right, um, here what I, what I have on the screen here is um, uh, clearly an Israelite woman. <laughs> uh, this woman here, her name is um, Eunice Verdell Rivers Lori. That's a long ass name. Eunice Verdell Rivers Lori. All right, and this woman was helped, was the one who helped um, um, Esau um, spread the syphilis amongst the black men and in, in, uh, the Israelite man in our in, the, in our community. She's the one to help persuade them, you know. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, you know. And here we are, the same storyline all over again. The same goddamn storyline all over again. So you just saw it's not clever. He's not a smart man. He's an idiot. He's a fool. You know? He does the same thing over and over and over, you know? And it's only the wicked, the only foolish, it's only the fools that continue to fall for this devil's shit, man. You know? Here we got these politics and the Democrat and the Republics, and here the idiots haven't even woken up to realize that they're part of the same goddamn wicked, evil, vicious, filthy bird. <laughs> so come on, you know. If they keep falling for that, they're going to fall for everything as far as uh, anything has to do with Esau and his medicine and his science. And here we go. Lo and hold, the, the black woman been used again. All right, First Timothy um, 2 and 13 says, For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived but the woman being deceived was in transgression you know the woman being conceived by the same uh, um, the same serpent the same the same damn devil the same devils man you know for the sole purpose of getting ahead for the sole purpose of success for the sole purpose of uh, you know to prospering you know whether it's to lay down with her enemies or not Hey, I'm telling you now, the times we're living in is a terrible time. You don't, hey, unless you have, uh, you know, the protection of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, it's going to be a bad time to be a so called black woman. And that's the time we're living in now, you know? And she's exposing herself as being, and she's bringing out the cut. She's coming out the cut. You know, she's, um, she's letting the world know that she's our enemy. You know, she's letting the world know that she's our enemy. You can see that. But anyway, going into, um, this is her old ass, Eunice Verdell Rivers Laurie, 1899 to 1986, was an African-American nurse who worked in the state of Alabama. She is best known for her work as the coordinator of the Tuskegee Syphilis Experiment from 1932 to 1972. This bitch is a, uh, is a murderer, man. This is a witch. This is a straight-up witch. The Tuskegee experiment was an inhumane study that deliberately allowed black men to develop syphilis when there was treatment for the disease. <sighs> man, if this don't piss you the hell off, man. You know, it does piss you off at the same time. These are beautiful times we're living in. These are beautiful times we're living in. And we are literally living in... Um, here, let me get the scripture here. Let me get the scripture. I have my Bible open. I'm going to keep it on this photo. I'm just going to read it straight out of my Bible here. Uh, if I can find it. Anything to them in their eyes, it's a proud time to be a nigga woman. <laughs> you know? It's a fool for you. You know? Um, there's a couple of scriptures I want here. And, and, uh, oh, Salaki. 
I was in Malachi. Here, uh, there's actual scripture I want in Malachi, but I'm not going to, I don't need it yet. Uh, the spirit wants mm -hmm. it to come mm -hmm. out. It'll come out. Uh, okay. Okay, here. Okay. Okay, let me go to Micah here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, Micah. Uh, this is Micah. This is Micah 7. For some reason, man, just reading this Micah 7 and, and 8, it just it took me back and my, man, my mind just immediately started thinking about the, uh, the summer of 07 when this is one of those main scriptures that stuck out to me when receiving this truth. When I first found the truth, you know, when the apostles were going over this, this is one of the main ones that always sticks out. So times always, it's, you know, that I kind of love that feeling, that that memory. You know, those times are different. We're in a different state of mind than, you know, you know, without feeling, the, with, especially like, as far as battling the demons, like, we battle only now. Hey, we didn't have no battle. Well, we put it this way: we we weren't aware of a battle of demons then. <laughs> um, it says seven and uh, eight. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the incarnation of the Lord, and that because we went off, the Israelite man, we went off. We transgressed against the Lord. Okay, we transgressed against the Lord, meaning. We um, disregarded his uh, his laws and his ways and his laws and his his ordinance. We disregarded it. We, uh, you know, so he punished us. So because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause. And that's the times we're in. We're living in now until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. We're living in those times now when he's about to actually perform this this miraculous act. All right. He will bring me forth to the light and I wish and I shall behold his righteousness. And this is the light. And this is part of that light. That's re uh, revealing the wicked. man. The wicked works. You know, it says, then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Because they believe in Esau's medicine. They believe in Esau's medicine. You know, they believe in Esau, period. Esau is their God. You know, the black woman. We're talking about these nigger women, man. Where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the streets, you know. It's a beautiful times we are living in. We're seeing the destruction of our enemies, man. You know, and, and you know, this does not apply to the women that are uh, that are humbling themselves and and learning uh, the actual righteous ways of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, you know. And there are, there are going to be lots and lots of women that's going to get delivered. But over here in America, man, it's not going to be many women making it up out of here. That's just the tr a straight truth, man. That's just the straight truth, you know, that you want to talk about keeping it real. <laughs> that's called, that's the, de the sole definition of how, you know, of keeping it real, you know. And I can imagine her and her family, man, you know. I can imagine her family is probably carrying on her her goddamn legacy. And they always speak on their legacy, you know. Um, reading another scripture here. Um, as for my people, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. And destroy the way of thy path. You know, beautiful times we're living in. All right. Um, here I'm back into the apographer here. Um, uh, sure, 25, the 25th chapter. But let me go back here. All right. The Tzitzi Spruce was an inhumane study that deliberately allowed black men to develop syphilis. When there was treatment for the disease. All right. Early life and education. 
you see she went through the system, born in, in a farming family in rural Georgia in 1899. Eunice Verdell Rivers was the oldest of three daughters. She was born at the time and place in which racial relations in the United worked at, at their lowest point. Originating from a poor working class family, Rivers was fortunate that education allowed her access to middle class life. Her mother, who died when Rivers was just 15 years old, encouraged her to attend school from the young age. She told Rivers to get a good education so she wouldn't have to work in the field so hard. Her father also a proponent of education encouraged her to become a nurse. He wanted all three of his daughters to have ad adequate schooling, working long hours at the sawmill to help finance their studies. Rivers followed her father's advice, which you know, father is probably a, a serious big time Sambo. You know, if you probably if you can find out who he is and go into his life, probably is a big time Sambo. All right. So I'm not going to really go into much of this. Uh, for the children, she gave dental hygiene lectures and supplied tubes of Colgate toothpaste. <laughs> you know about the Colgate toothpaste, the toothpaste itself, you know. How they put fluoride in the actual toothpaste when there's actual warning, poison warning on toothpaste. It's crazy, man. You know, this is just crazy. Um, oh. Uh, Sirach 25 and 13, give me any plague, but the plague of the heart, any wickedness, but the wickedness of the woman, and any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me, and any revenge, but the revenge of the enemies. And these women, man, you know, uh, for especially the mountain men, they open their legs to, and they just develop, you know, through their own fault, uh, say straight up hatred for men. So their lives is. You know, when the service, have, you know, I'm looking for a man, a real man, and this and that, but women behind closed, you know, in all reality, is just looking to destroy the next soul, you know. There is no head above the head of a serpent, and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. I have rather dwell with a lion. This is only through the spirit of Yahweh, but Shem Shai, you know, that this woman is our enemy, man, you know. She's our enemy. And especially if you give this deep beast a, a, a license of, 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 of liberty, freedom, man, you know, just a natural, just cause, again, we, we transgressed against y'all, but me out shy. So he made this bitch our enemy. I have rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than keep house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changing her face and darkness and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. You know, I had a woman just look. Just, well, actually, I was going I was dating a chick. Um, um, I'm seeing a woman uh, and her mom. And, and no exaggerating, y'all, but she mean I was on my witness. Mom looked identical to this woman. This woman, she was out of nowhere, just leaped on me and started choking me, man. <laughs> I mean, he literally started choking me, man. Oh man! And the same woman works for um, works uh, for the judicial system, you know, serving them cops. Uh, let me continue on. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon him. All wickedness. All wickedness, you know. You see, donated by the company further her public health work with men concentrated on social hygiene. She informed them about the dangers of venereal disease. You want to talk about a snake coming in sheep's clothing. Perfect example, man. This uh, uh, this is a straight up wolf in sheep's clothing, you know, and it's no different now than this shit here, this black woman here, who they you know are saying that developed this this virus, this vaccine for the virus. The shit's continuing on, man, you know, and that's why we're ordering you to be circumspect, you know. You know, you got to watch and you got to be careful. You got to watch what's going on around you and just not just, the, you know, the script said on the simple believe it everywhere. Yeah, you know, you, you shouldn't no longer be, you know, continue to be that simple fool, man. 
Meet the black woman taking the lead to develop a vaccine for COVID-19. And the funny thing about it is a black woman, the first woman to get the vaccine shot. <laughs> Man, their ultimate goal is to destroy the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, starting with the tribe of Judah. Their ultimate goal is to destroy the children of Israel, man. That's their ultimate goal. It says here, a wicked woman abateth the courage, making in heaven countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that would not comfort her husband in distress, maketh weak hands and feeble knees. Baby, we gotta we gotta eat. Baby, we gotta we gotta get that pad. We gotta get that ID card so we can go shopping. We don't have to wear the masks, you know. I I want to I want to go to the concerts. I want to go to the you know. I know you want to go to the football games and see LeBron, man. It says of the woman came the beginning of sin. I said she was a fool, easily persuaded, you know. So, you, you know, you, you've ever heard the term of men calling, referring to certain women as easy, you know, all you got to do is say the right thing and you can get between them legs, man. That pretty much applies to a majority of them, but say the right things, you can get between them legs, man. You know, which is women we actually refer to as easy, man. You know, you know, that's kind of funny. The ones I know, especially from when we were teenagers, it's the same way now, ain't nothing changed about them. Now the goddamn chain thing changed the bottom, man. You know, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So you can continue on uh, remaining in the dark. You continue on to, to make this uh, refer what well, call you know call her what she is. Call her that queen. You know, we already know queen means pr uh, to prostitute. You know, a pro a hoe, a whore, a prostitute, man. You know, <laughs> the queen bee, the queen bee. You know, the queen bee. <laughs> you know, beautiful times we're living in, man. You know, the scripture says shame shall cover her. Shame, man. You know. So, hope you're edified or inspired. Continue on doing this work. So next time, Lord willing, shalom.